All right, welcome back to Charge Positive. Today, I wanted to talk about one of the unsung heroes of the charging world we have. These are the ChargePoint CPE 250s. They come in either 50 kilowatt or 62.5 variants. I have extensive uh, experience with this unit because I used these way back when I had my Chevy Bolt and they were pretty much perfectly matched up for uh, the speeds that a, Ch a Chevy Bolt could drive. But now with my Model Y, I actually seek these out because either you find them in great spots like this casino here, where it's a nice place on the way to Palm Desert to, to you know, take a break and get a snack. Um, also, I actually like the speeds of 50 kilowatt. For me, I'm not always in a super rush. In fact, I actually want to stop and uh, get my computer out, grab a bite to eat, and not have to be rushed by 10 to 20 minute supercharging. So for me, 50 or 62.5 is actually a really good speed for being able to get the charge you need. It's much faster than level two. However, you're not rushed to like, okay, I barely checked out in the, in the convenience store and I gotta go. So these are pretty reliable. Um, I've pretty much had like a 95% success rate connecting to these both with my Chevy Bolt and my Tesla Model Y with the CCS adapter. Uh, I usually activate with my phone uh, whether it's Electrify America or ChargePoint, I usually use my phone. So all you do is you tap. Beep, 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 makes a little beepy noise. Then it says plug in. And the cable reach is pretty good. There's a little arm that comes out if you need to reach further. And wait for communication and uh, here are the contactors. And then uh, it's actually pretty good handshake timing you know, not as fast as a supercharger, but usually faster. And we got a green light and we are charging uh, soon to be at 50 kilowatts. Okay, so now that we're charging, let's check out what we're getting. So this 62.5 kilowatt station is giving me 54 right now without any preconditioning because I didn't navigate to a supercharger. I plugged in at 17% and I'm already at 20. Now to 80% it says it's 50 minutes. I'm not, you know, I may be here that long. I'm probably gonna be here about between like 30 and 45 minutes. This allows me to charge. Uh, at a little bit slower speed and also uh, it's also cheaper here a lot of times you find these charge points the uh, casino has set these to 30 cents a kilowatt hour so that's not bad for getting some electricity rather than stopping at a supercharger for like 40 50 sometimes 60 cents a kilowatt hour here in the middle of the day it's you know one o'clock so that's what we're getting 55 kilowatt i'm gonna spend probably at least half an hour here taking my time you know taking it easy grabbing some refreshments grabbing some lunch um, might even play some blackjack, who knows. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to talk about, you know, the, really what's kind of fitting in the in-between spot between level two and really fast supercharging or, or uh, CCS charging is this, this range of 50 kilowatt speeds where it's kind of a nice in-between where you're not rushed and also you're not, you know, you're mo for most vehicles, most newer vehicles, it's actually gonna be charging under 1C charging rate. You know, with a 75 kilowatt hour battery, you know, 50C, that's 0.66C. So you're not having to worry about, you know, cooling your battery as much. So anyway, those are my thoughts. I always like to see more medium speed. Yes, we want super fast charging when you're on a freeway and you're on a road trip and you just gotta get in and get out. But there are times where you want something between a destination charger which you're gonna be here for like six to eight hours and super fast charging where you're gonna be here for 10 to 15 minutes. So this fits right in between those use cases. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite way to charge? And I'll see you on the next one. By where the charger is gonna be.